this short clip, I will show you how you can save hours of work by automating your social media image workflow with our new Zapier integration. We are going to build a little Zap, which will take a new post off of your Webflow RSS feed, creates a custom image through Placid and posts it directly onto your Twitter timeline. As our first step, we are going to create a template at Placid. For the sake of this tutorial and to keep it short, I'm just taking a predefined preset and create a template off of that. You can think of a template as it being uh, an image consisting of placeholders. You have a placeholder of an image as a background, you have a placeholder for this title and you can just ex exchange those and create then multiple images off of that. Kind of works like a, a Photoshop template, but with more automation in mind. So I'm going to change the name of the block. It will be my awesome block. And I think that's it for now. In our next step, we are going to create our set. Give it a name. Select our trigger, RSS feed. We want it to, every time there's a new item in our feed, it should trigger and run the whole set. We need a feed URL. On the Webflow, we can just click onto pages, select our desired collection, and enable our RSS feed here under settings with all the fields we want, with a custom image. And after we've enabled it, we can just copy the URL. We can test it. And true enough, we have now a title, a link, a description, and our thumbnail. Everything we need. So we click done. We can now add our placid image. We select the placid integration with the create image action on our already added account. We select our template. Right now, Sapio will already show you all the fields that we have available. We have an image, we have a title, and we have a field called URL, which means we have this background image, we have a title, and we have a field that's called URL, but we are using it to show the name of our block. So that's perfect. We will just fill the image with our thumbnail, which came through RSS here. We will fill the title with the title of our RSS item. And we will keep the URL field or the, the field which, ho which holds the name of our block the same, just the default value. Click continue. We can click test. Then Placid will already create an image for us. We can have looked it. Yes. Our thumbnail is set, our title is set, and this is kept the same. So we can add now our Twitter action. After the image is created, we want to create a new tweet on our Twitter account. That's my private one. Continue. <laughs> we need a message. What do we want to have written in the tweet? We want the title of our blog post. We need the link to the blog post here. We can pick that from the RSS feed. Then we need the placid image. Putting it in this field will directly attach it onto the tweet. We don't want to shorten our URL. Click continue. Then we can hit test. And the test tweet should already be sent. Sure enough, there it is. Just as we set it up with a nice big image and 100% automated. And from there, you can just click done, enable your SAP, 
and every time you publish a new item with Webflow, it will go through the SAP and just post it directly onto Twitter with a custom image. Thank you.